So Slack is a very popular messaging application. It's basically mainly used for business communication. And I will show you exactly how to go through and use this app, whether you use the application or the website. They're both kind of the same thing for the most part. If you're familiar with Discord, it's kind of the same process, but it's obviously a more like business focused one. Now within Slack, you get to go through and download the app where you can go to Slack, their website, and the structure is fairly, you know, the same on both types of platforms. Now between both, you can go through and you can see in the top left, you basically have your business name right here, right? Or the name of your, whatever you're working on. So be able to see that in the top left, in the top right, you'll be able to see your username information, your account information, things like that. If you tap on here, it'll show you all the different types of information you have within your account. So notifications, invitations, if you want to send out your profile, notifications, all this other stuff you can go and do here as well. Now, if you come back into your main page, you have a search bar here. It allows you to go through and quickly jump or search into different people's accounts or different pages like that. It basically all you know, culminates in one area. So that is one advantage you have basically right there. Now, you have all these other different types of quick tabs at the very top. Now, Slack is basically comp like comprised of different channels. So you have lots of different channels within Slack. So you have, you know, the general channel, which is usually just a random channel that they just make. It's just for general questions, a random channel for random things, and then uh, maybe like a business type of channel specifically for your business. So you can create channels. You can almost think of them as like different categories of topics to talk about. So if you have a channel for, you know, YouTube, you can have a YouTube channel for Instagram, Instagram stuff goes there, so on and so forth. And then you have your direct messages at the bottom. So you have the ability of kind of going through and directly messaging other people, you know, right within Slack. And you can start a new message by clicking on the start new message. You'll see a plus button down here or a plus button on the website. And what you can basically do there is to tap on that plus button and it will allow you to go through and immediately start a huddle, which is just like an audio voice chat, or you can start a channel. So you can start a new channel of new things to talk about within you know, your Slack you know, application. And that is another really cool thing that you can kind of throw in there as well. Now you have DMs, you have direct messages, you can kind of throw in here too. So if you have all your DMs, they'll show up right here. All the direct messages you have will show up right within here. Under activity, pretty much the same thing. Whenever you get a notification, it will show up right under activity and I'll show you all the different things within your activity panel and channel that you can do right here. And then under more, you can tap in more. And then you'll have all these other things here too. So you'll have canvases, lists assigned to you and external connections. So all those things that are associated in that situation, you can also go through here and get more information. But these are all pro features, but you can go and get more of those if you really want to. So once you're in a channel, you can go through and you can start talking within those channels. So you can see how many members are on your channel, how many people are in it. And then you can just start going through and start messaging people if you want to. So it's totally up to you however you want to go and start talking. But you can start, you know, talking within these channels. If you own them, you can also edit the description. And that goes with any channel out here. Same thing with random, same thing with this one. You know, if you DM somebody, it's basically the same thing. If you ever message anybody on any app platform before, it's basically the same type of process. So it's a very easy application to use. And the more you use it, the more you'll understand it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.